All right, there's some big upgrades on the way to improve highway rail safety in Alexander County. The Clear Creek Levee Road will get new automatic flashing light signals, gates, and approach grade improvements. The Illinois Commerce Commission approved that move. Now, that's expected to cost a little over $378,000. Crews hope to have that finished within a year and a half. Well, new this morning and big news, the nation's biggest carbon-free energy producer is setting up a plant in Illinois. Energy company Constellation is getting $1 billion through the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investments and Jobs Act. Well, they plan to use that por or portion of that money to build the world's biggest clean hydrogen production facility. That is big news. Mm -hmm. It'll be at their Clean Energy Center in LaSalle, Illinois. Constellation says that project's going to cost about $900 million. However, they do believe that it will also create a more than 13,000 jobs. 13,000 days. That is so incredible yeah. right now. What's well, happening today, this sounds really familiar. Speaker McCarthy, well, former Speaker McCarthy, mm -hmm. when he was trying to get the House Speaker spot, just kept trying, Fif kept trying. 15 times? 15 times. Yeah. And now Representative Jim Jordan gearing up for a press conference today. This before he tries yeah. for a third time. Well, he spent most of yesterday trying to coax more supporters, but many GOP, many GOP members are already talking about other options. Well, John Lawrence is going to give us more. Common sense then do the 12th Representative Jim Jordan is hoping the third time will be a charm. I'm still running for speaker, and I plan to go to the floor. Uh, and get the votes and win this race. But some Republicans think Friday's vote for Speaker of the House will be Jordan's third strike. Work. Seems like every time we go to the floor, he loses more votes along the way. So I do think a, a candidate is going to rise out of the ashes and hopefully bring some sanity back to my party. The House has been without a speaker for more than two weeks after Thanks. the historic ouster of Rep Kevin McCarthy. You can't do anything until you elect a speaker and apparently there's not enough votes to elect a speaker. Some in the House, including McCarthy, support boosting interim speaker Patrick McHenry's power in the meantime. He's been here a number of years so he understands how Congress works. He has respect on both sides of the aisle. He could carry out the job. But this would require Democratic backing. We haven't had a caucus meeting about this issue and about this potential path because we're not sure yet what the Republicans on the other side of the aisle plan to do. Right now, McHenry is slamming the gavel on that idea. Look, my, my goal is to get Jim Jordan elected speaker. I'm John Lawrence reporting.